While Florida International University making a huge donation today to fight coronavirus. Much needed masks are being made available. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live in Coral Gables with that and so much more. Ian. Good afternoon, guys. The good news is, according to Miami-Dade Mayor Jimen uh, Carlos Jimenez, there isn't really an issue in terms of beds or ventilators here in South Florida just yet, but there is a big problem with PPE, personal protective equipment, and FIU has found a unique way to help fill that gap. Places in Florida right now are very worrying. When you look at the numbers of deaths, which are indicative of a lot of spread against the size of the populations in some of those counties. A stern warning to Floridians on Sunday from one of President Trump's former Homeland Security advisors, reminding everyone that the fight with COVID-19 is not nearly over. Just hours later, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez reiterated his message to isolate and stop the spread. You're safer at home. Stay at home as much as you can. The number of cases in Miami-Dade broke 1,100 over the weekend and continues to grow. But Jimenez says so far, hospitals have been able to keep up. Even though we went up another 70-something cases uh, over, over, over overnight, only one more hospitalization. We have 92. And by the way, that's a cumulative number. Doesn't really take into account all those people that have left the hospital. In terms of ICU beds, uh, there was 308 yesterday, 306 today. Ventilators, there were 747 yesterday, there's 735, so that's only a drop of 12. The one area where healthcare providers are struggling, though, is personal protective equipment. And a group of professors, staff, and students at FIU have found a way to try and help fill that need. Face shields for me was something that um, came to mind as a nurse. Uh, it's just, it's a frontline defense form of personal protective equipment or PPE. And it's the one thing that helps elongate the life of the mask. Um, and I thought that we would be able to do that within our university. FIU Assistant Director of Emergency Management, Bridget Palaez, took her idea to FIU's College of Communication, Architecture and the Arts, where she teamed up with John Stewart, the Associate Dean of Cultural and Community Engagement. Together, the two, along with several students and other faculty and staff members, found, tweaked, and created plans to 3D print face shields. Elias took the prototype to Baptist Health and the hospital group asked them to make a thousand just like it. We expect to be doing batches of 100 from here on in. So we hope to get the, the order for a thousand out as soon as possible. But the interesting thing has been changing the lab from a research and innovation lab to a production factory. So that group at FIU has already delivered Baptist Health 250 of those masks, and they're still working to finish that order of 1,000. They have heard from other hospitals and other groups asking for masks, and what they say is right now they're trying to finish that first order of 1,000. But if anybody else has 3D printing supplies, any other groups, schools, anything like that, they say they are willing to share everything, their instructions, their material list, their, uh, their instruction booklet as well, anything that they need for their area to do the exact same thing, they're willing to share it. Live in Coral Gables, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.